Welcome back, play back, man. A few videos ago, we had talked about somebody who was uh, doing a little predatorial things. Now he's back to explain himself. Okay. I want, to, I want us to talk to see kind of where, kind of what happened and kind of where, where we are and to clear up a lot of misunderstandings. I've been seeing all kinds of crazy stuff. And I want to go ahead and clarify why there are so many people rocking with me because people are mad at the folks who are supporting me. There's nobody supporting you, dog. <laughs> I've never seen a video so heavily disliked. And the fact that you got on these poker shades leads me to believe you're hiding something. Yeah, that's, you can't that's come a, on here with one wild. of these. Yeah, that's why. I wouldn't wild. trust me neither if I that's came wild. on the set like this. That's wild. But just for people who don't know that God in the Love is, is a gentleman, I know the, the red seats are kind of not, the red seats not being there kind of throwing off. But also, he, he normally makes YouTube videos about finances and, and trying to build yourself in, in, in those ways. In this, uh, I don't know when you joined YouTube, but years ago, I had three male channels called Disruptive Mail, where I was talking about male content and these type of explicit stuff. And a lot of people loved them. And then, you know, I got a little carried away and I was like, you know what? I'm not actually giving the guys the stuff that they need. So what? I deleted the channels. So there are people who are very familiar with me in the manosphere. And this is why Alan Roger Curry, this is why Edward Anderson, this is why people are rocking with me because I put this content out for years. Damn, dog, if he used your name <laughs> that's in, as a cosign, that's, that's the worst cosign. I'd rather cosign oh. <laughs> a, like a Smoke Perp album. Then be caught in the same sentence with this preto. That's the worst cosign of the year, yeah. dog. They I'd probably I'd like, no! Call, yeah, I'd have called <laughs> me like, nigga, stop, bro. And this never was part of it. This was a part of a strategy, which many people will disagree with me, I think is working very fine to launch the new male channel, The Lost Kings, because I want to separate myself from other male content creators. Oh! And part of Yo, it's I was, a strategy. I, mean, I was trying to think, how could playback separate themselves from mm. other commentary channels? We could pop a nigga, low. Exactly. That way we're murderers. Yes. We can make videos about murdering exactly. people. Exactly. And that sets us apart, because who else is killing? Of course. <laughs> That's high level strats, y'all. Matter of fact, go, 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 let me see real quick. Go to his YouTube channel, The Lost Kings. I don't want to do that on my channel, so. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have that shit recommended to me. Introduction to, nah, <laughs> no, Marcel. How the Craigslist protocols came to be. That's the premiere, that's what's premiering next. So, what's going on guys? Today we get a little kinky. My first time visiting a BDSM dungeon in Chicago. Feel the power of a dominant man, you know, and it's like, this was their first time in the club. So they were straight up rookies. And you know, typically in the BDSM club, you don't, if you see a woman and she has a collar on, you don't talk to her because she's owned by somebody. You leave her alone. And typically what I found out that people in the BDSM community are very, very respectful. More respectful than say out here, because you know, if a girl's got a collar on, I don't care how hot, how cute she is, virtually nobody will talk to her because they realize that she's owned by somebody. And they would like, maybe go, it's like, who's your master? And then she oh, would point and they would go talk to him. They're so respectful, dog, that they're owning people. And if I do ask you a question, it's to know who your master is. That's so respectful, dog. Because he must be a fine gentleman to, yeah. get, to have a slave like you. <laughs> yeah, but it was a girl I used to date and she was like, I don't know, she had she did BDSM kinks for people or something like that. Mm. And she was telling me stories about the type of stuff some people are into. Yeah. And it blew my mind, bro. Mm. Now she ain't doing it on me. Of course. She was the opposite with me, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah. So she was submissive. Yeah. You was the one getting that whip, getting ready. No, 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 no. God! No. God! No. You don't put the call on her. No, 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 no. We actually, we never even ended up uh, bunking, but she did. And we did engage in some other activity, but she was fantastic. Yeah. And uh, in that kind of, I, I realized that world does exist. Mm. I didn't know it was masters and slaves, but she took And mad respectful, too. Yeah, you want to tell me, yo, Patreon. We'll put this on Patreon because this can't go on YouTube. All right, so she told me the story. 
She said there was this old white man. And I noticed I would have NBA players. I had really hot chicks coming in from my Craigslist ads. And at the time, Craigslist had a section called a Craigslist a dating section. And I started writing content for these ads. In the beginning, it was horrible because I wasn't getting any results. But I stuck with it and I stuck with it and I stuck with it. And I kind of tapped into something. I would get, I would get responses okay. from high school girls every day. And this is the thing. And this is what's funny. 99.9% .9 of them I ignored because, you know, the average high school girl looks like a high school girl. A lot of them are not developed. A lot of them don't look like women. So I was had no interest in them. What was the text of these of these ads? What did they say? This is when, if you know, because you said I'm into some wild shit. And this is with the BDSM. I kind of toyed around with uh, the content marketing and, and what I found was long form ads worked really, really well. And it was just talking about what I would do, what was on the table, the activities. I'm not going to get explicit on your show, but I spelled out in detail what I would do, and what I would not do. And a lot of women started responding like 10, 15 a day. What I tapped into was the female submission story. There was no competition. There was no compensation. There was no dating. They would strictly just show up in my place and have sex. And this went on for about 10 years, 10. I start tamping it down. Let's say 15 years, but 10 years hard. And then 15 years, I kind of backed away from a lot of that stuff, but that was the gist of it. I mean, it literally changed my life. And I thought, the launching of the Lost Kings, because, you know, I started making content about a month ago and I was like, I have been the target of so many YouTube hate campaigns. Nigga, this and no, all right, bro. This, this nigga's not saying he was a target, bro. I can't, nigga. I can't. I can't. This nigga's, there's no way. This nigga saying he's target when he's targeting women. What are you talking about? Not women, about? girls. Girls. There's no way a nigga's about to play the victim card in this shit. There's no way this nigga's about to get off a victim card. None of them been anything that I've done. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to throw some raw meat out there for the dogs. Because I've seen, you know, like uh, right, you I've been reading the comments and stuff. And, you know, people want me buried under the jail. And people want me, you know, and I think you did a real good job saying that ain't nothing going to happen to me. Because, number one, this isn't current activity. And number two... When it was happening, it was never illegal. I never had sex with a 15 year old girl. I never even had sex with a 16 year old girl. But I know y'all may disagree with me, but I feel that the social media experiment worked really well. And because I'm getting it's not more and more. This sick. is an experiment. It's not an experiment. You did it. Like you dead did it. You but he did. wanted to see how to grow the shock value on the YouTube algorithm. Can you imagine, like, if I pop somebody right now, and I was like, "But that experiment on like the impact I had on their family, that was it was pretty successful because we got yeah. like, you know, shock and awe." Yeah, I got, I got, I got a video hit like ten thousand views for yeah. sure. That worked. Yeah, it, it actually worked. It really got a lot of more traffic to my channel. Like, nigga, what are you talking about right now, bro? Well, first of all, it didn't. <laughs> yeah, it did. Second of all, you're not a victim. Because people have opinions about the horrific things you did. That just makes you a horrific person. It's crazy how you can... <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> I can't even... Like, the more I think about what this nigga is saying to me... Let's say it is an experiment. What have you learned? Because <laughs> like, yeah, what is what is that you're gaining? You say something shocking and people have a shocking response to it? Like, what are, what are we... What are you saying? Have we confirmed? Has the theory been confirmed that shock and awe does indeed bring in views? <laughs> yeah. Are we gonna see if it's is it sticky views? Like, does it stick around long term? You you portraying yourself as a pedo. Now all of a sudden you feel like people are upset. Like, is that you was gonna figure out how that was gonna work? I guess people don't like predos. <laughs> I guess they don't like it. I, I can check that off the list. Good to know, bro. And then don't present it like the the response wasn't so overwhelmingly negative that it broke YouTube records, <laughs> or that you really had support at all. Don't present it like that. Oh my God, niggas! Stop. Or that it's been nobody has went to your channel as a result. Man, there have been a lot of lies they're just letting him spit off right now. This is crazy. <laughs> Calling it a successful experiment is fucking wild, nigga. Subscribers. I'm having all kinds of content creators making crazy videos. Some people can't even pronounce my name. It's, it's wild. And 
I feel that this is probably going to die down. Because yeah. I was thinking this is going to go on to the end of October, but I don't think it's going to go on that long. Because, What's the experiment um, part? Experiment yeah. was the actual video. YouTubers are known for faking stuff and putting out stuff that isn't real. This is this is this has been YouTube since YouTube started. So I went ahead and I put up a video that was talking about some very saucy stuff, and it started performing. And then I feel that your video helped propel it. The video isn't going to go viral. I already can tell that. It's at like 5,400 views. Part of it is to set the brand and to build a community the way that I want to build a community. I want people who will be committed to personal change. And if I could put up a video like that, and oh, I can- If this is this your is role like, model, this is crazy. if you could pick any human and this dog oh, shit human is your God. role model, but if you let a person that would lie this flagrantly, repeatedly, in the face of other people, be your role model, then you're destined for doom. This nigga said, I just wanted to experiment to see how people's gonna respond. Oh my God. And I, and I got 5,400 viewers. Nigga, come on, bro. So you're telling me you told, you, you actively told that story for the views, bro, and you didn't even get that many views? You're just, you're the sickest nigga I ever met in my life, dog. And you thought that people were going to share that shit? Like, oh, look at this spicy video. Nigga, are you crazy? That's, that's crazy, dog. This nigga is crazy. The worst part is he actually did those things, <laughs> and he's lying right now. Yeah. So like, who's the most popular Preto? Ah, R. Kelly. I feel like R. Kelly. Yeah, I can understand R. Kelly. That's my title. I understand R. Kelly. Subscribers. I'm getting the right kind of subscribers. I'm getting the right kind of people that I want. By the day after I put it up, I was like, Anton's going to make a live stream of this. And you sure did. You, so you capping so hard. Yeah. I, I want to reach through the through the screen and just grab that ugly, no, stupid, no, 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 big no, no. lift that he got. Listen, 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 but listen, I, I ain't interrupting time. one time, bro. So he's tagging me in videos. I don't even know who this guy is. Not even a little bit. All right. I don't even know how he know me. I've been on YouTube for over eight years. Apparently, he's been over on for even longer. Cool. Whatever. He in his section. I'm in my section. Right. So he tagging me in videos. So as usual, when people tag me in videos, I go and see what it is that they talking about. I don't disagree with what he's saying from a business perspective. Right. Oh, he doing reactions. Cool. I don't care. We all content creators. We all rock out. It is what it is. Right. So then I do some research. And I don't necessarily agree with the way in which he go about living his life, but I didn't see anything crazy. I'm waiting. I'm waiting on this nigga's punchline to say like, but he pushed the line. I'm waiting for that. I'm, I'm waiting for that. And I go to reach out to him and I look in my inbox and I see a, a thing with a message that says Glendon Cameron at the top of it. And so I'm like, hmm, this must be a representative of his or whatever, but I was just going to reach out to him this morning. And so they sent me the video. And so I could go and check out the video and I see it. And so the thing about it that I'm trying to, I'm trying to make sense in my mind is how is it a, how is it a social media exper experiment when you in the second video, first of all, it's coming out of your mouth. One of the things that he said in his reaction video is if, if I was Anton or what Anton should have did was reach out to me and say, is it true? It's coming out of your mouth. YouTube is really, really crazy. You can put out a video and you can have an assumption how it's going to perform. But until you put that video out, you don't know how it's going to perform. And like I said, I've had people do four hour live streams about me talking about me. And I was like, you know, I'm going to try something a little risque. I'm going to put it out a there little? and I'm going to see. And the first few days, it really was nothing, nothing. I said, OK, this is going to die. And then it started. Um, Anton did his video and then a whole bunch of other people did their videos. And the video is the video is not going to go viral. It's not going to happen. And um, but this, this so I stuff. would consider it a static experiment. It's not like super successful because honestly, I thought there was going to be more blowback. I thought there was going to be more anger. I thought there was going to be more people with pitchforks. You know why? This is, this it's because so nobody knows you, bro. If Chief Keith posted this, it would have. Or if somebody that people are familiar with, you're just a guy. And all people know about you is that you're a preto, but you're not you're not big in like entertainment. Well, why so nobody... would you even want it to go 
viral off of that alone. Is that like part of his experiment? Yeah, like why why would you want to go viral off of a video where you're admitting that you're a Geppetto? Why 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 is that why is that even something that you need to experiment with? But why would you want that in the first place? Why would you want it and why even experiment with that? That's such a that's, that's such a dumb experiment. It's not, also not an experiment. It's not an experiment. So we're calling either. it for yeah, the sake of for the sake of what he's saying. But it's not. It's not. As the guy on the right just said, you clarified in a future video it was true. And then you reiterated some of the points here. Nigga, if you say it, why am I insinuating that it's not true? Why would you why would you say a lie on camera, let alone a lie like this? What's the point of lying about this? I don't know if you got what I sent you. And you know, if you didn't, I'm not gonna worry about it. But one of the big things that happened in that video was the lack of assignment of culpability to people for making decisions. And once again, I know y'all gonna disagree with me and I'm gonna say it anyway. All 16, 17 and 18 year olds are not the same. There are some that are very childish, really still immature. And there are some who are damn near predators. And one of the things- the children are predators? I can't, I can't. Agent, I'm so, I, I can't. I, I have, we might have to just cut this show. You know what's funny? This nigga's no way this nigga's trying to call them predators. I, I'm, I'm so sorry, I can't. You know what's funny? In his head, he's not one. But you know who is? The children half are predators. Half his age. The people half his age are. There's no way he's saying that a 16 year old is so manipulative that it's warrant the label of calling them a predator. But this nigga is putting out this is an odd individual. Yes, yeah, some of them are. <laughs> yep. But you said that you wouldn't consider your behavior or R. Kelly's behavior predator behavior. Well, if you look at the title of the video, I could have been the no, predator. I looked at no, what I, you said. You I'm said that you would something. not consider you you predator, predator I'm, I'm talking. I could have been a predator, and I will give you the, like, yeah, I had girls in high school sending me dirty, explicit pictures, all this other stuff. That's illegal. And I would just delete them. Let's talk I could have easily, I could have easily been a predator let's if that was my orientation. He's gonna be attorney. He's gonna, be attorney. No, he's gonna say something. He's about to say, you, know, you know, he's about to say. No, let me tell you what he's gonna say. He's gonna say, "Hey, them still sending the pictures is still illegal." illegal. Just so you, you know. know how I know that there was a girl in our high school. When I was in high school, it was a girl a year older than me. She was. Unfortunately, labeled like the school thought. Okay. She just was. Yeah. Um, but nudes of her leaked. Don't know how they leaked, but people was talking about her. Yeah. And one of my friends got them, and I remember it. It got so. Um, it was just so talked about in the school that one of the teachers ended up saying, "You guys know it's illegal to have those photos because even though you are a minor, she is too. So it yeah. technically qualifies as." And I thought, "Damn, yep. she, you're older than me. How's that possible?" But I just never. I didn't even want to be in that ballpark. So I only ever, and then, you know, I'm like, you keep that on your phone, my brother. It went all that anyway. I don't need that on my phone. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. don't need that on my phone. Uh, you know, so, so, you so, so the attorney's about to break down to you, dog, that you sitting here, you can call yourself whatever you want to, but what the law says, nigga, you're nasty, dog. Yeah, that's, okay, so let the lawyer speak, please. Please, I need to hear what he has to say. I lowered the numbers oh of God. the girls and her mother and this happened all of the time. Why would you lower the number? What the kinda... fuck? Why would you lower the number? Oh, this nigga is nasty, dog. Also, I don't believe him. But... I don't believe you either. <laughs> but the fact that you lie about so that. So, nigga, what are you? What the fuck are you doing, bro? Who wow. the fuck purposely lowers numbers? What to prove what point, nigga? Are you. That is the dumbest shit. Niggas backtracking on the age. And for the people that was watching at this point, yo, the real what, what he's not what, what happened was that there's a part of the video that we reacted to that we just couldn't up. It was it was such a nasty portion of the video where he talks about how he was interacting with someone's mom, and then the mom had the children in, and the children got involved. And now he's saying that he purposely lied about the age of the children. Oh yeah, we cut that out. We cut that out. Damn. There's so there's so many things in that video that we we had to cut out because it was just too much. We didn't even finish the whole video. No. That's how crazy that video was. So we had to cut out parts of that video because it was like, bro, there's no way you're about to describe. He was describing in detail in detail Geppetto activity just for him to now double back and say, oh no, that really wasn't the age of the girls. They really they really weren't underage. You know who else does that? Rappers. 
where they commit uh, admit to crimes in a song. And yeah. they, they go in court like, no, nah, I was just saying that like for my brand. Who she was, and I was like, okay. And there was a policy. I would just go ahead, block their email, delete their pictures, and keep it moving. This happened right. a lot. A lot. I think it's nasty. It's so <laughs> nasty, man. And I think maybe it's, you know, un the, the, the ironic thing that I'm trying to figure out because I say this regularly. I say I need to be the man that I would want my daughter to marry, right? I'm a reflection of the thing that I would want my daughter to marry. And I've heard Glendon admittedly say that he has a daughter. And so I'm so I can't, confused. I'm so, I, I, can't, I can't. This nigga, this nigga, everything this nigga does is actually worse. A, a, every time we dig deeper into this, it is worse, bro. How do you have a daughter doing shit like this, bro? You have a daughter, bro. That don't bother you? Like, even outside of the law, outside of what was... Because slavery was once legal. They don't mean that it was right. We're talking about morals and ethics and character. Yes. That don't right. bother you, bro? Honestly, look, look, that you got a daughter? My daughter and I have a very special relationship. <laughs> no! I'm not watching not one more fucking bit. I swear, bro. End this fucking video. I'm closing this tab. Won't return to it. I fucking give up. I can't. I can't. I can't. Just when you think like he can't say nothing that's worse than the previous thing he said, he has like this innate ability to one up himself. I can't. Oh my god. I'm know. not watching no more. I promise you, I'm not watching no more. All right, play back. Fuck. Hope you enjoyed that fucking video. That nigga's sick, dog. Hey, go find yourself someone of age. Stop dealing with fucking high schoolers, nigga. If you missed the last video, it's right here. Click it. We'll catch y'all next time, dog. Because I can't. I can't with that nigga. That nigga's crazy.